What's up guys, Mr. Scanlon here, and in this video I'm going to uh, show you how to build a app using Ionic that um, you can have like a, like a calculator, kind of, so that, like you'll have two input boxes, one for one number, another for the other number, and then like four buttons, and it'll be like plus minus subtract divide. So we've done something like this before in a website. Uh, I'm just going to replicate it um, in Ionic now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, actually delete this button. You're not going to have anything there in the uh, the app. And I'm actually going to rename this app to Calculator App. Oops. Uh, so then it renames the top there. And then I'm going to go to uh, the Ionic Components tab. So if you guys go to, um, you know, uh, Ionix uh, documentation. If you Google it and then go to CSS components, you'll be where I'm at right now. Um, so the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change the uh, the header. I'm actually going to use this kind of purple. So I'm going to use I'm going to borrow the CSS right here. Uh, you know, purple calculator header, just for fun. A little, little bit of a different color in there. So if you just paste that. CSS inside that ion header bar class, uh, it's going to make that purple for you. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add those input tags that I was talking about. So if you go to uh, forms here, like click forms, it'll bring you to forms and inputs, and you can just, um, you know, pick one that you're kind of excited about. This one maybe might do it for me. Yeah, probably. Probably this. So I'm just going to borrow this code um, right under text input placeholder labels. Um, so I'm going to borrow that. And I'm just going to go in here and paste this right inside of the ion content uh, tabs. So paste that in there. I'm going to tab it out just a little bit. And you can see, bam, it's already in there. You know, it's got this first name, last name, comments thing. Now we don't want the comments. We already know that. So we're going to get rid of this label thing. So it gets rid of the comments. Now we just have first name, last name, but it's obviously not first name, last name. It's first number, second number, because we're going to do some calculations with what other, what, whatever numbers the user puts in. So if they put an eight in, eight in, and they hit plus, we want to see 16 pop up, right? Okay, so that's all fine and dandy. The next thing we want to do is uh, we're going to need some buttons, right? We want four buttons like right here to click on and then have some the you know the calculation up here. So if we go back here to CSS components and go to buttons, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab like a nice button here. Um, so we've got purple for the header. Maybe uh, purple and like light blue. Yeah, where have I seen those those colors before? So this button calm if I copy this and I go back to the play ionic. So right underneath the label, I'm just going to paste a couple of these in here. So there's four buttons. Um, you know, you can see there. And I'm just going to tab this in so it's kind of ordered. Uh, now notice there's like a, there's no space right here, right after this guy. So I'm actually going to just, I think I, I could put a BR tag in here and it'll bump it down a bit. So yeah, so just a little space between the buttons. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename these two plus, minus, multiply, and divide. Oops, not the for divide. So the user kind of knows like okay, divide, multiply, minus, add, whatever, um, and then you know center these up. So if I go to the CSS tab inside here, I can just say body uh, text hyphen align center like that and I get my buttons line center so exactly what I'm looking for so um, what I want to do now is I want to add um, an ID for these input tags so ID of a and that's just so we can grab them later right so we can go into the JavaScript and say we want to grab the input boxes with an ID of a or B uh, so that way we can, you know, grab the information out of there, grab the, the numbers out of there, and do stuff with it. So that's good. And then the first thing we'll do, we'll do it to the to the plus one first. So inside the button tag of the plus button, 
just go ahead and write on, click equals, and we're gonna do add, right? So we wanna run, run an add function um, when the person clicks the plus button. So inside the JavaScript, uh, go ahead and write function, add parentheses, and then inside here, we're going to go ahead and grab our, uh, our elements. So we're gonna say var a is equal to document dot get element by ID. We're targeting that A, and we want the value of that input box. So whatever's in there, we want the value. And then semicolon, and I'm just gonna copy and paste this for B. So I'm gonna say var B, and we're getting the B value. And then I want to uh, you know, calculate it. So I'm gonna say var c is equal to parse int a plus parse int b. Now there's something actually I'm kind of thinking about right now, like what if they put like, you know, 5.6 in there and they wanna add that in. So we, it, you know, right now it's, if we're just having integers, this is gonna get rounded up to six. So let's actually change this to float parse float. So parse float A, parse float B. That's going to give us um, C, which has uh, the number, or the, the added number. So now we can go ahead and last thing we're going to want to do is inside the HTML, we'll go ahead and grab like a, some sort of box that we can use, like a footer. Footer should actually be kind of perfect here. So we'll go ahead and grab a footer. Um, this one's fine right here. So grab that and then go back to the ionic. Now, right outside of the ion content, so ion content, ion pane, right outside of the ion content, go ahead and paste that footer and you're going to see it's going to pop up at the bottom now. And we can use this footer as like the answer. So we'll say like, or we won't have anything in there. So that'll, that'll be where the answer goes and we'll just say ID is equal to answer, right? So inside the JavaScript, we can say we want to document document dot get element by ID. We want to target that answer, and then we want it to say the inner HTML of that document is going to have um, C, right? So C dot to string. So if I go ahead and say six plus seven and I hit that plus button now it actually gives me the answer right there and that'll work for literally anything I put in here you know it's, it's going to give me the right answer which is great now I want to do it for the remaining buttons here right so I want to do it for the minus multiply divide so what I got to do to do that is I got to make more functions so I'm going to go ahead and just literally like copy and paste these so add subtract multiply, divide, and then we got to like change these in here. So instead of adding it, it's subtracting it. Instead of adding it here, it's multiplying it, and then dividing right here. And then obviously we got to add these in here, uh, in, in, into the buttons now. So uh, take the on click, I'm just going to paste these in here on the buttons. And I'm going to change this to subtract, multiply, and divide, right? So if I go ahead and I, we're, I think we're finished actually now. If I go ahead and put in, you know, 77 and uh, 14 and I add them, it gives me 91. If I subtract them, 63. If I multiply them, 1078 and if I divide them 5.5 so we have a working calculator app now um, which is pretty cool and uh, that's actually it for this video uh, what I want you guys to do now um, so don't you know sign off yet your assignment is to turn in this but then the also the other thing I want you guys to turn in is add a fifth button over here um, for uh, Kind of show you what I mean here. Add a fifth button, but what I want it to do 
is I want it to give the like square root. So you can say like SQ or something like that for square root. And when they click, um, you know, like obviously there wouldn't be a, a second number. There would just be the first number. So when they put in like four and they click square root, um, it should say, uh, you know, a two down there. I don't know why I couldn't think of that for some reason. So when I, when you have four, click square root, it's going to say two. Now, just a heads up, the reason why it's saying NAN, that stands for not a number, because right now um, the square root, it's going to do it for any of them. Like if I click multiply, it's multiplying four by nothing right now, because there's nothing in here. Like if I replace it with four, it's going to give me 16. But when I get rid of it and try and multiply it again, it's not a number. You can fix that so like it won't even calculate unless... Um, you know, you have something in both uh, numbers just by like testing it right here. You could say like if, you know, A doesn't, you know, it's not a value or something like that, then don't actually run the function, right? Return it. So um, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, take care, uh, care of the second part of the assignment and I'll see you later.